Well, what's up guys? Uh, here we are with part two of our Thermosoft Warm Step installation. So we're doing this first half of the house. You may remember from the last video, got the flooring in through this part. So we've got our Warm Step mats under there, under all these parts with the uh, flooring in so far. You can see we have the mats going into the living room here. We haven't covered it with the flooring yet and we're testing it before we do because we want to make sure the thermostat's going to work the way we expect uh, before we get all this flooring on here. So right now the thermostats are underneath this board about right here. And then they go into uh, behind the wall there and then up to the thermostat. So let's get in here for a closer look. Essentially what happens, we got all the wires routed through the subfloor as I showed in the part one video. They all come up here and go into this junction box. So that's all the lead wires. There's 10 total mats in this area. So that whole area and this part is 10 mats. And uh, so that's 20 wires and it's quite the bundle. So you can see we've got this three gang box here and uh, we've got all the wire connectors in there. It's a mess, but there's really no graceful way to do it when you got that many wires. We're using these uh, the lever nut wire connectors, which are pretty handy. You can get them from Home Depot, as you can see, it accepts between 12 to 24 gauge solid or stranded. So the lead wires, by the time you strip that sheathing, they've got a ground and, and the actual current wire. Those current wires are only 18 gauge because these are actually pretty low current per mat. So it's an 18 gauge stranded wire. And then it goes up here and gets combined with a 14 or 12 gauge uh, solid wire. So these are good connectors to use for that. You can see these little black wires on the side are the thermostat wires. So there's a regular one and then a backup one. So those go through just low voltage wires going up to this thermostat right here. So as you can see, it's on. Um, don't leave the covers off like I did. For the video i'll put the covers on don't worry but yeah there is it's it's live right now so when we first turned it on the floor was about 69 degrees about 30 minutes ago so it's warmed it up to one degree we'll see what we got to do for the actual um set point we'll want for radiant uh you think know, sometimes your floor temperature has to be a little warmer than what you would uh, set for your actual ambient temperature so We've got this one right above it. So this is the uh, this is the thermostat for the mini split. So we'll have these two thermostats next to each other and see what happens. Anyway, coming out of the thermostat, going towards the panel, goes behind the wall into this MC cable, comes across here, goes in the panel, and then it comes around into this breaker. So this one's a little bit special. It's combination arc fault. So if there is a fault to ground, neutral, or a series arc, meaning the wire is broken and it's arcing along the path of the wire, it will trip for that reason. Uh, seems like cheap insurance given that we have a lot of 240 volt wires running around under the floor and that's quite a bit of you know voltage to have. It's all supposedly legit and to code, but anyway, it feels a little bit better with that type of breaker. So we can see we've got my temperature gun. If we kind of run around, we can check what the temperatures are. And this area over here is where the island is. So there's no step mat below me. So you can see, okay, the floor here is about 67, 68. If I go over to here where one of the mats is, you know, it's kind of warming up quite a bit. So this was kind of the point of the experiment is to see when the sensor starts to determine that the floor is warm enough. So right now, you know, I'm walking along the mat and so it's kind of in the seventies. So we'll play around with it and see if our sensor location is good enough. Anyway, I will run around obsessively with my little handheld thermometer for the next few days and maybe come back with a part three video and uh, report in on how it's all gone. See you next time.